Bienvenidos a, a los Curvo Negros Party Girlfriend Chucky Tapper, el duro, duro, fuerte, lo fuerte. Una vez más traigo un episodio único, especial, exitoso y extravagante. No se olviden que hoy tenemos trending topics of the day, sucia días, rant of the day. Do not forget to make sure you comment, share, like, and click the link in the description and you can see how you can help us out here. But today, I have somebody with me um, and I'm gonna allow her to present herself. Hi, what's up guys? It's your girl Red. And, um,. I'm coming to you live and straight from out of Jersey. What's up? Yo, so, so who are you? You know, what you do? Where you from? You know? I mean, during this quarantine, besides being, you know, a mom, I have a mom. I have one little princess. And um, I've been doing my thing. I've been hustling online. Like, I, I, you know, I make my money that way. I used to bartend. So until the world is open again, you know, that's on pause for now. That's on pause for now. Alright, so um, I invited her right over today because uh, we went on live uh, recently. Um, it was good vibes, good connection. We've talked for a very, very long time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it cut us off. It, it cut us off. So, um, but um, I was like, you know what? Let's bring her on to the podcast and see what she could do. But apparently, she's been on podcasts before. And yes, I've had my own podcast. Um, I've been name? on several. Um, but as of right now, I'm actually have I have one under construction. I don't want to put it out there yet. So oh. I don't want to put it, but stay tuned on that one. Right. Man, where can we find you? Oh, I, you know, I mean, you can follow me on the gram. What's up, Red? Uh, w S S U P Red R E D. So what's up, Red? Without the uh, U. Um, and just stay posted, cause I and I do have something in the works. As of like right now, working with you, you know, we're getting the ball rolling, and uh, we have some things to look forward to. So super dope, super dope. So let's get this thing started, right? So um, you know, social media obviously is a platform where a lot of people express their feelings. And you know, there's certain uh, things that I personally don't think should be put out on social media, but... Should it? They should it, okay. right? And, and one of them is like, I feel like, you know, drama between couples, I don't think should be put on social media. I agree. You know, that's one of my things. But, I'm not sure if future and... What's her name? Because I can't really say her name. Masikaka Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> you said it better than me. Well, Masikaka Lisa. Well, Masikaka Lisa is... Um, uh, <laughs> she's... Uh, she's she, so, she was one of the... I blanked out. She used to work at VH1. She was yes. one of the girls, yes, I think, yes, uh, yes. and uh, hip, uh, Love, Love and Hip Hop Never, Atlanta, yes. right? Um, she was Love one of the she was one of the actresses there. Um, actresses, actresses. That's all me. You know. You know. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, it brings me the topic of. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't even explained to you guys. But Future, you know, apparently was denying that he was the father of her kid, mm -hmm. um, and there was a DNA test where. Um, it comes out that confirms. he confirms that he is the father. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of want to bring up the topic of like, you know, how would you handle not knowing who's the baby daddy? I don't know how I feel about <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know. I can't believe, okay, I, I don't judge, I'm not judging nobody. I'm not judging nobody, but like, I can't see myself in a situation where I'm like dealing with that many guys that I can't, I don't know. But even, if, but, but even if you're dealing with two, okay. and you don't know again, um, who it is. I can't. I haven't been in that situation. But if I were in a situation where I was dealing with two guys, and I didn't know who it was, um, honestly, I would probably go with my first instinct. I feel like most girls do go with their first instinct or like the last person they were with, or the last person, uh, or or the person they feel like most connected to. Because we just want we want to believe it's that person. The belief, the belief of wanting to know who's who and who's what. Vamos a decir que por casualidad del mundo yo fuera mujer. Okay. I'd probably be having more than one or two guys. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. You're right. Um, and if I was in this situation, you know, I think, I think I'm too prideful. You wouldn't I, say nothing. I just, you know, and and, and it go, you know, I visited um scarymoms.com, right? Um, and in scarymom.com, you know, they kind of gives a few options as to how to go about this. Okay. And now I just turned on my mic because I just noticed that I wasn't on. But no way, the whole the whole time? Yeah, but that's okay though because I could hear a little bit myself through yours. All right. I, and I don't know, man. I, I, listen, I believe it. So you're not going to do that. But nah, it's all right. We'll, we'll okay. keep on going. It's the flow not to that. Okay. Um, so I think, you know, personally, I feel like I would be strong enough that if I would make the conscious decision of, you know, saying I'm going to do this by myself, i just do it by myself. What? Yeah, because... So you would let go <clears throat> of the guys, even if you feel like you had a relationship with one of them? Oh, yeah. I was just... Because I think 
you know, as someone who does this, right? As someone who's who's with multiple views at the same time. Yeah. Right? Um, I think that's the one conscious thing that I've always been. Like, if I'm ever in a situation where, let's say, like, I get two girls pregnant, like, yo, y'all let me know what I gotta do. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even, I, I wouldn't even put that, like... Because you already know that that's a possibility. It's a possibility, but I, I, I think, you know, and not to put the pressure on the girl, but it's more of like, listen, whatever you want me to do, I'm doing, that's it. Like, that's, that would be my solution to it. Do you think Future should take that approach? I think, I think he should, but I don't think he doesn't want, I don't think he wants to. You know what I mean? Because this is, this is my thing. Like, in uh, atención los tigres que están poniendo atención aquí y están mirando, right? Esto es lo mío, right? Yo tengo una regla personal. Personal. Mm -hmm. exactly. Esta regla de negro, right? If I have sex with a girl without a condom and she gets pregnant, I feel like it, whatever decision she makes is a decision that I'm working with. That's, that's me, right? And so, if she chooses to keep the baby, are you raising that child? Oh, I'm, I'm being a father. Listen, that's like, me, me and you being together has nothing to do with me being so, a father. So, no matter right? what. Exactly because you know you know you know first of all you know there is th these are two different roles there's a husband role and then there's a father role these are two different roles yeah and I think a lot of people don't understand that you know like you know I could be a great father but be a shitty husband right you see what I'm getting at right um and I feel like that's a role that that doesn't matter what me and you are going through okay yeah I mean that's a role that so I'm you're going to. to raise the child for sure okay man listen to me your name is Junior Bottom popping <laughs> Derek Alexander you Ruiz you heard ladies. Exactly, but um, scary mom, <laughs> scary mom, me .com, um, brought us three options, right? Okay. And then it brings up the first one that I said, right? So it's the mystery approach, right? Just don't tell anyone. Just make sure that's a vague reference when asked, you know, who's the father and whatnot. Yeah. Do you think that's a an option that people should uh, consider? Um, I think that if you are comfortable with that, then cool. Like you said, if you want to make the decision to raise a child by yourself, cool. But would I suggest that? Absolutely not. I think the father has a right to know, and I feel like the kids have a right to know who their father is. Very good. Now, number two was... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just going to read number two, and you guys let me know what your reaction to it is. Here's number two, and I am literally reading. Oh, God. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a father since you don't know. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> Here's the list of niggas that I'm fucking, huh? Any, any, mighty mo, who's gonna be the father to this fucking Right, so basically, right? <laughs> what that means is you choose who you want the father to be, and you just tell him that that's his kid. And you keep it rolling, but that's a lie. Like, if I said, like, what? I, what, 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 we're what, what, messing with each other, but what about, okay, and, okay, and then what? I'm messing with other dudes or whatever, but I really, really like you, and I really want you to be the dad, I'm gonna just tell you, babe, we're having a kid. Like, that's what that answer is saying. Babe, we're having a kid. Like, that, but that doesn't pregnant, really and, you're, and you're going to, like, believe me, you know, so put that that's, that's, that's just, like... That, that's, that's what you're like, getting, right? Right, So this, right. Is, this is what I got out of this, right? And then, boom, you have a happy family, <laughs> but now you live with the guilt inside. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So this is what I was thinking, right? So what I was thinking was that plot uh, twist: he could probably be the father dun, 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 the dun, dun, whole time. Dun. So this is what I was thinking, right? <laughs> so what I was thinking is that you know, it's like you know, I'm pregnant. Um, me and you're in a relationship, and it's kind of like, hey, listen, yo, um, I'm pregnant. You're gonna be the father. Um, I'm not sure if it's you. Like I feel like that's something. That that's cool. That's cool. because because like you cool. were saying before, like you know, sometimes you have, that a, you have a connection with somebody. It's kind of like, damn, I want to keep this connection. Yeah. And if, and if you come honest and like, listen, I don't know if it's you, but you know, I still want to yeah. have something with you, and I feel like you're the best candidate to be the father to my child. Yeah, but I don't think that explained having that conversation. No, I was just I you know think, I was oh, I, I was trying just, to take the good guy around. Like, yeah. Oh. So you won't be honest. So you won't. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my And number and number three. Honesty with everyone, no matter how much it hurts, and it does. Um, no matter how much it sucked, uh, well, there's a lot of sucking. <laughs> uh, watch every face fall into disappointment. Oh. Hear every sigh, every insult. Send behind your back. You gotta eat it. You, you know? gotta eat it. You put yourself have, there. Have the difficult conversation <laughs> and dive heading into the feeling of shame. Period. That's that's tough, man. And I'm not yeah, listen to me. I'm a, I'm, I'm usually the pretty honest. Let's, let's, right? no, let's, I'm pretty honest. Let, let's go the honest route, no matter how how much it hurts. Like I'm, that's really. But this one, yo, it's like a little bit too much. Like you know. Yo, for real. I don't know, but do you agree? <sighs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I would have the same feeling if I was a girl. Like as a guy. Like as a guy. Like. Tell me, you want to know? As a guy, no, hell yeah, I want to know this my kid or not. I don't want no fucking Negro Junior walking around with me, I know. Yeah, like, but you know? the fear is that, the fear is... It's judgment. No, 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 the fear is you leaving her. 
Pero mi amor, lo que sucede es que el, yo... Exacto. Oye, uno toma decisiones en esta vida, y como te dije right. yo, yo estoy muy consciente, right? eh, no, uh -huh. no actualmente, porque cuarentena me ha disminuido, no, me, me ha eliminado exactamente oh. mis interacciones sexuales, right? okay. pero en mi tiempo, cuando yo era un perro, un sucio, uh -huh. right? um, un tiempo. It, you know, if, if I ever had two girls come up to me and said that they were pregnant, you know, I would have to be like, hi, cool, so what are we doing? Like, I would take ownership to whatever decision they would make. Um, And I would have wanted the honesty of them telling me, like, listen, yeah, like... But know. would you consider still being with her, knowing that she was with other guys? But if she said she doesn't want to be with those guys anymore, she wants to be I with think, you if this is your kid. I think it depends on the, the level of um, of connection that I had with her, you know. I, and that's that's one of my problems. I don't feel like I connect with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I think connection um, would make the Why difference. Why do you think that is, though? Why? Because mm -hmm. I'm so fucking picky, bro. Like, I take, I, the definition of picky, I put it like to like the third power, like... That's and, crazy. I mean, like, maybe it's you feel like you haven't met somebody that connects on your level. That could be it. That's a, possi that's a possibility. Like, you feel like, you know, you're up here and you want a woman that's also okay. Mm -hmm. Or you, you don't, you don't think you're that picky. I'm picky about like small bullshit. Oh my goodness. Like, no, because, but, but you know what it is? And I'm explaining, right? I'm picky about these small bullshit because these small bullshit matter to me okay like you see what i'm getting at okay like these I are like small little things um like wording okay like i i i, I hate a girl that talks like a nigga <laughs> like girls are like yo on god dog on god yo i'm fuck you. like no i can't have that oh like, my god i can't have that. i can't have a girl who curses no i can't i fucking curse up a storm like, okay i okay. can't I, i cannot take i cannot like I, i judge people to my own standard okay right so like Like, I, you would never hear me speak, as, like, on a way like so that. So you're saying you would never talk to your woman like a nigga? Oh, hell no. Never, exactly. So, never. like, so she I, shouldn't so talk exactly, to she you should, like one. She should never speak to me like one. Okay. Like, it's it's, okay, I, I, it's an reasonable. expectation thing, like, you know what I mean? That's reasonable. Um, so, but, you know, let's just, that's a, li a part. Of, a little bit, yeah. A little yeah, bit yeah, of, a the, little of the bit. bunch. Yeah. But, you know, since we're in this quarantine thing, they're talking about expectations, right? One of my expectations is that if I'm someone, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, of shame, right? I'm a fan of girls who wax. But during this quarantine, you know. Oh, you know, don't even talk know, to me about you know, this. You, you know, I your can't. spas are closed, your nail salons are closed. I can't. So, you I know, can't. women aren't shaving. Women aren't waxing during quarantine. Very few are. Let me, let me correct myself. Very few are. Some, Yo, if some you of them find someone, <laughs> let me know. Yo, anybody out there, yo, I will pay you right now. So, you know, you know some of these um, women have the ability of waxing themselves, which. Que Absolutely Dios, not. Que, que Dios la bendiga, poder, de poder hacerlo. But um, all of these like shaving, waxing, you know, products and agency have gone down in 25% during this quarantine, right? Um, because they say that most of these, you know, things that you do, like deodorant and you know, showering and stuff like that, you know, it's tied up to go to work. You know, you shower before you go to work. But if you don't, go so to you're work, saying people aren't showering? For sure, people aren't showering. Oh, I'm showering. I what? We'll, we'll, speak, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Anyways, so, here, so, here, so, so talking about showering, this is my first question to you. What's the longest you've gone without showering? The long, okay, no. I have gone pretty long without a shower after I gave birth. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Um, and I've gone pretty long without a shower after I've gotten knee surgery. I've gotten surgery on my knee. I could not, sh I could not move. I didn't shower for like at least two, three weeks. Like I, I had help with a little bit, but... That was tough. That was tough. Okay, and then, so besides those two, so besides those two incidents, I would say maybe like on some bum shit, maybe like a third day, a third day. Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, a third day. Quarantine has definitely uh, pushed my record, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think I think this was maybe like the third week of quarantine. Or the second week of quarantine. Okay. Right. I went. I think I went five days, where I was literally just. But this, and I'm explaining, right? I was literally in bed like the entire time. Like I was in bed, I would wake up, I would record a TikTok, go back to bed, go back to sleep. Okay. Eat, okay. Wake up, right. watch some Netflix, go back to bed. Right. You know I mean? Like right. literally, literally. The, And for people who drink or do other things, that's definitely happening. Oh, for sure. For that's sure, definitely for sure. happening. So um, it was definitely one thing. But now I'm gonna take it to the would you rather because I, will, I you know, would you rather are very funny. To okay. Me, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm with it. would you rather never be allowed to floss again, oh. or 
never be allowed to shave again. I can wax. No, 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 no. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. You no. Know, yeah. The, well, that's that. Okay. When I meant shave, that's what I meant. Shave okay. Can I right? trim? No, 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 no. This, 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 no. Listen. It's a would you rather. It's either you're flossing or you're not going to maintenance your pubic hair. There you go. Okay. I might keep the hair. No. I might keep the pubic hair. But I'm shaving the rest of my body. No, okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Oye, oye, oye. No, you're going to tell me I have to not shave my legs under my arms? No. It's either you don't shave at all or you don't floss. One of the two. I don't know, man. Because flossing is a big deal to me. Like, I carry it. Really? I don't know. Like how she goes like... No, I do. I carry it because, like, I I guess... A dentist like told me like if you don't floss, you can get cavities between your teeth. And mm -hmm. who wants cavities in the front? Oh Hello? no! Yeah, but I'm gonna be honest. I think I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't. I think I think I'm going without the flossing. What are you gonna do instead? Um, me juego la boca. All right. Y el dedo. Tú te tú te has pillado con el dedo. I have. I have. Exactly. Come on. There's ways to get around things. I have. I have. But you see, but now I can't get around. But no, but shaving though, like sh I can't get shave, around it. It's I either you shave or you don't. I could trim. Alright. Anyways, let's All right. move on. Alright. All right. Would so you? We're not, okay, so we're choosing not I'm, to floss. I'm saying flaw. We're I'm choosing saying, not yeah, to floss. We're choosing not to floss. Would flaws. you rather never be allowed to wash your hands again? Okay. Or never be allowed to clip your nails? No, wash my hands. I'm like still showering. That doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. Dis disregard the the first part. It's either you either wash your hands again, or you're never allowed to clip your nails. Actually, I might look pretty long. Can I bite them? Um, no. Because if you, that's dangerous, first of all. Um, and I'm showering and doing things like that, so my hands are getting clean. I'm gonna go and never clip my nails again. Really? Yeah. How? How are you gonna deal with that? Um, no, like I'm saying, like I'm doing the, like I'm, I'm keeping my nails. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, like I'm, yeah, clipping, yes, I'm clipping. Yes, that's what clipping, I say. Clipping, okay, clipping. okay, same. Yes. Perfect. All right. Would you never be allowed to wash your hands after the bathroom, or never be allowed to shower the day you work out? <laughs> dun 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 dun. That's so much dun, 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 to think dun, dun, about. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh uh, damn! Wow. Okay, I'm gonna say. No, that's not fair. I work. What if I work out every day? Oh, so, Alright, cool. So then I'm gonna say the hands because I could always wash my hands before instead of after and just make sure I'm clean. You know, there's ways to get around things. There's ways to get around things. But I'm gonna show Last but not least, last but not least, would you rather not brush your hair for six months okay. or not clean out your ears for six months? I don't need to brush my hair. Um, I definitely brush my hair. Fuck my ears. Six months? Six months, yeah. My hair? Nah, mm -hmm. man. Yo, tú sabes lo que yo saco lo que un tigre con una... The guy looks crazy, like... Okay, but it's not... Listen to me. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, you know, if, you, if you're not seeing me through the camera, your boy has a nice fresh haircut. Oh my God, you know, always. Fresh, always. Fresh, fresh cut. Just fresh for cut you for guys. quarantine. For quarantine. You know, you know boys, boys feeling sexy. Oh, you see one person. I, 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 oh, you're like, oh, you think of a paella. At a time. No, at a time. <laughs> At a time. So You'll do this for one person. Pero, you know, uh, listen to me, you know, your your hair, you know, it, that's too essential, man. Wow, okay. It's too essential, you listen to me. But your ears? Yo, I'm going to put it to you like this, yo. Like, you can't touch your ears. Okay. For six months. Oh, that's fine. Okay. You know was a guy for six months without being able to brush his hair? I know, you're right. You're right. And girls, ladies, it's hard too. But my ears, I'm sorry. I could, I, I'll let this wall out for six months. It needs to breathe anyway. <laughs> But my ears, that's weird. Mm. Alright, so now we're gonna go to Sucerias de Negro. La Sucerias de Negro has nothing to do with me. I just like to explore these topics because these topics, you know, kind of catch my attention more mm. than the Jews will, right? And the first one that we have today is the following. And this is the title of this topic. Name it. I am a parent making porn to make ends meet during quarantine. Thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. No judgments here, right? It's just, um, there's a lot of parents doing a lot of things to make ends meet. And nowadays, with technology, porn is really easy to make and sell. 
Only fans is the way. That's have to subscribe there. I need to find promoted. the good one to subscribe. It's promoted. So like if you got a good OnlyFans, leave your comments below so I can go check it out. Anyway, so I think you know she makes uh, a very valid comment is that you know for some of us, um, porn making and uh, the digital work are the only real options to be able to provide for your for your family right now. Right. So you know she goes from being able to provide live cams, kink requests, sex team sending nudes. Um, what do you say? I guess like I I, I can't speak on this because I have never done something like that and I never really considered something like that. But for those who you know do take that route or or, or you know live that lifestyle, because I know I know I have friends you know with those kinds of accounts and stuff like that. So I think it's just being mindful of whatever you do put out there is out there forever, um, and. Whatever you do choose, like, just understand that you get to choose what you put out there. You can still make money on certain things. You don't have to do the whole thing. But if you do choose to do the whole thing, like, as a way to provide, then that's what your reasoning is. Just remember your why, you know what I mean? Remember so now, why? you know... Because you know, I, know, I know girls that do You know, the, the, the girl that wrote this article, she's a stripper, right? Um, and she has an eight-year-old. So now, how do you bring up the topic when your child asks you, when your child asks you, mm -hmm. um, you know, what do you do for work? Well, I, again, I don't know what I would say, um, but I'm sure um, I've heard, you know, people describe it as dancing. Okay. You know, like dance, or, you know, people can kind of say whatever they want, especially if they're in the night's life. So, I bartend, you know, so... I actually have a child and she thinks I work at a restaurant. <laughs> you know, kids don't know and I feel like, you know, when they're old enough to know, then you can kind of like up the scale of how you would explain it. You know, we have, you know, there's different no. stages. So, and I bring that up because, you know, she used, uh, she, she said something that to me sounded like very, uh, I guess, I don't want to say slick, but a very uh, a kid way to say it, right? Mm -hmm. So in the concept of a book, it's for her age, you know, she's eight. Um, she knows that mommy works in a business called a strip club, so she's honest to where it works and dances for people and tells them jokes. Which this is actually what happens in strip club, by the mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, some of them. Mm -hmm. um, gives them hug, which technically they do happen. Yeah. Right? And gets tipped money for doing so because bodies are interesting and beautiful and people will pay money to appreciate them. And because com um, companionship is important. That's amazing. That's, I think that's a very well structured. Uh, explanation to an uh, honest answer an honest answer yeah because to I create content that's amazing because there's a lot of women out there that do um, promote you know um, positive bodies and you know all like body positive I mean and just like loving yourself and things like that like um, Amber Rose like she promotes like the fact that her son views views a woman's body as as just that like a beautiful creation that God made for like us as a humanity and he doesn't look at her any different as his mom and she you know still loves her son the same so it's like every like i said if that's everybody has a different lifestyle they choose so um you know i think I, listen to me like i said i think the the structure of how she kind of pitched that um was great but most importantly you know i think it's also like you know what benefits you know can these uh you know these, conversations not, not not these conversations but you know the live cams the king's request the sexting and dudes kind of, you know, bring to people and, you know, one of her customers, um, which happens to be a girl, um, told her that, you know, you know, because of you, you know, you helped me to understand how to slow down the pace of my husband, right? So I feel like when we don't see them so structured, uh, scripted porn that we watch on most of these porn sites, right? Mm -hmm. And we kind of have the ability to go to the content creator directly um, and maybe ask questions and request things. You yeah, know, it could help to like benefit lesson. Yeah. to um some of these people who are interacting and these things and whatnot. Yeah, that's awesome. Pero it's all como, about perspective, right? Yeah, perspective. Pero como hay cosas buenas, también hay cosas malas, right? Right. Which no lleva a la segunda parte. El exceso de porno en cuarentena y las consecuencias, right? Do you see consequences of porn? Listen, this is my opinion. 
This is your opinion. This obviously, is my opinion. Because you're saying it, obviously, because it wouldn't be my opinion. <laughs> saying, right? so it's your opinion. But I absolutely think that there are negative effects of too, watching too much porn. Say that? I absolutely believe that there are negative effects from watching too much porn. Like? Like um, desensitization of um, one's emotions. Mmm, that directly correlates to me. That's a good one. Keep on going. Right. Um, the lack of intimacy between two people in a relationship. And not to mention the fact that um, um, your semen is, is actually like your liquid gold. Like, it's used to, you can, you can transmute that energy to be productive. So when you're constantly ejaculating, it actually um, slows you down, like um, productivity-wise. Yeah, it does. I, I like. Does. I, I would argue that one. It does. I don't know the like, entire science behind it, but I have read a lot, mean. and it is true. You, like a lot of a lot of athletes, like boxers, um, wrestlers, like a lot of like he, uh, heavy weight builders, like, yeah, bodybuilders. Yeah, bodybuilders like they know and they, they abstain for that reason because you know they need the testosterone so and a lot of times it's better spent with someone um well i, I would i would i would argue that because okay. umanyanero um is a very good um i know i know it's a very good, it's a very good day booster yes you, yes you, it's you, a good release you, listen, when you, it's built you walk up. you walk your day like so like lightly and like so yeah you feel like there's this energized and smiling again there's two there's two positive sides vibes. To the coin. there's two sides to the coin so right. yes it is good as, as a release as a stress reliever as a tension reliever whatever you may call it but too much of it no bueno well, it says here el compulso de pornografía eh, no está técnicamente clasificado como una adicción pero arguably pero a lo largo de la última década, las investigaciones han relacionado a la pornografía con la disfunción sexual, es decir, con problemas de excitación, atracción y desempeño. Um, so I do agree with the attraction part because I feel like um, when you're able to select um, what, what you want to see, yeah. it also kind of puts an expectation, maybe subconsciously, consciously, yeah. maybe the psychology people could check this out. Um, on what actions you want performed during sex. So if these actions are not performed, it might lead to you not having such an excitement and might not want to put such an effort into having sex with the person, mm -hmm. right? Um, and another point that you cannot see, and this, this is actually funny, right? Los viernes, of all days, los viernes hay menos visi um, visitaciones en el resto de la semana lo cual puede surgir a las situaciones sociales limitando las oportunidades del uso de pornografía y esto es de porn hub. So on Fridays, less people watch porn. Because on Fridays, more people are getting laid by other people. The hell, the people are not getting laid on Saturdays and Sundays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, right? but Fridays, people are expecting to, they don't, they're not expecting to need to watch porn. And then maybe Saturdays so, and wait, Sundays so, are so, still. So, so what you're saying that you do most of your porn on Friday? Ah, <laughs> uh, no comment. Anyway, no so comment. <laughs> just kidding. AKA Friday, but keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, I think that I think that's simple. That's simple. It's people are just actually more inclined to want to be with someone at the end of the week, and you know, kind of release that way, and then maybe in the weekend still, still do those activities. They have all day. So interesting. Uh, uh... Do I? This is Friday my day of the week. I don't think Friday is my day of the week. Cause he has a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I Monday. wish, girl. Listen to me, yo, this quarantine. Listen. This quarantine messed me up, girl. This quarantine, <laughs> yo. This quarantine just what? Yo, you, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna go. Hey, what? Not, no, yo. Listen to me. Like before quarantine, um, and, and not that I was, not that I was uh as high as I was before, right? Yeah. But I had a you. You was getting yeah, some action. Exactly. I was getting action. I would say at least weekly. Maybe? At least. No, not even. Maybe like every two weeks I was, you know. But, but, like, but I had some consistency, weekly, right? Yeah. Um, but it, it, it was enough because, you know, I'm, I'm really busy and I'm really cut off. So it's not like I'm like, I need it. Like, you know what I mean? But, but when you had the chance? But, but no, cuando... When you se, wanted no, it? No, cuando las hormonas mías se le pegan. You're eh, out. Eh, yo. Out. Oh, yo. Yeah, eh, 477 people, let me pull up. <laughs> like, um, 
So, um, and for, to me, to see that Friday is the day, I don't know, thought it was weird. Anyway, so now we're going to go into what is called rant of the day. Rant of the day is usually things that people usually rant about, right? They go off the charts about and they're consistently just a very heated thing. And to me personally, right, I actually did a skit um, about this one um, on TikTok. I'm um, sure follow me on TikTok and all platforms on Amazon's party. Here we go. Um, top five excuses girls use to not be in a relationship. Why are you clapping? Because I'm going to be the girl. Ready? Oh my gosh, so she's going to be the girl, guys. And what's your excuse not to be in a relationship? So, like, I've just been wanting to focus on myself lately. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like, maldito focus on myself. Explain to me, explain to me that. Explain to me the focus on myself. I just really want you to want me, but I don't want you to know that I want you, and I want you to know that I'm good without you, and I'm independent, so you could want me more. Yo, a veces que la rata me olvida, se me da la galleta, eh, ay, es de que hay que cerrar. Um, the first one that I, the first one that I have is, um, um, and, uh, oh, wait, this is not it, because this is the, oh, this, this is not it, this man. is not it. Damn, I, nah, oh, damn. All right, this, this, you know what? We're gonna improvise. Improvise. Improvisation. Hopefully nothing disconnects here. Bring up the laptop up. And in this laptop, I have uh, the answers. <laughs> so, okay. So, are you already done that one? So, like, okay. I hear when girls tell me, like, <laughs> I'm not ready to be in a relationship. <laughs> so, okay, go. So, what does that mean? What, what are you ready for? <laughs> I just <laughs> want you to um, know that I'm not looking for anything, but if you're looking for me, you found me. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. All right, number two, number two. I'm, I'm talking to somebody else. First of all, if you're not talking to me, you're talking to the wrong guy. Let's just put that out, right? If you're not talking oh, to me, you're talking to the wrong pero guy. Soy el final día, no oh. no puede verme. Este por acá. Acabo de salir de la barbería, me siento como si fuera el número uno en el mundo. Like, tía, es, es un flow distinto. Uh, uh. Um, so, yeah, so like, I'm talking to somebody else. Like, have you used that word before? Just to get rid of somebody, have you used that word? I mean, okay, so not, not like personally, like in a personal way, but I've used it in, like at work when like a guy tries to hit on me and I say, yeah, I have a boyfriend. Like, or I'll be like, yeah, I'm seeing somebody. Like just to like. So it's definitely an excuse you used to get oh. ditched to the side. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> All right, number three. Number three really pisses me off, right? And the thing about number three that pisses me off is that, <sighs> let me read to you guys. My friend has a thing for you. First of all, first of all, what the hell is a thing? That's number one. <laughs> What the hell's the thing? Listen, I can't even relate to that one. Right? My, my friend has a thing for you. That's number one. Second of all, sucks to be your friend. Right. Sucks to be your friend. Because if, if I'm coming to you, it's because I obviously don't want your friend. I want you. Right? And why are you even bringing up your friend? I'm talking to you. Right. Right. I think she's trying to be, like, loyal. Loyal to who? You didn't be loyal to me. You're about to be my girlfriend. <laughs> like, what? No, man. Heard you. Heard you. And, um, number four. Number four? I can see and understand it. Okay. Um. But, anyways, number four. My mom doesn't really like you. What? I would never use that excuse. I am way too. <laughs> First of all. You wait, wait, wait. If she says my mom doesn't like you, she's too young for you, bro. Okay. And Her. my response is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not I, for, I forgot I was dating your mom. Totally disappointed. I, you know, I should have never said that. Like, what? I don't go fuck about your mom. Like, right. your mom, your mom's gonna That's like me. Young. Your mom's gonna, your mom's gonna like Ooh. me somewhere down the line. Trust me. I'm Ooh. like, I'm amazing and parents. I'm amazing parents. Parents love me. You can ask my ex, ex, ex. Her mom's two asses for me. All of them. Hi. <laughs> Por chiaca. And last but not least, the one that pisses us all off. The one that gets under our skin. The one that we just want to grab them by the throat and fucking squeeze them and expose their heads. You're like a brother to me. Oh yeah. Yo, yo, a veces como que agarrarla, yo, pero. First of all, I'm not your brother. This is first thing I think, right? First, like, I'm not your brother. Zone. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, but you remember when Drake said that one time? He was like, he's like, remember when you used to call me a brother? You can't do that no more. Oof. 
don't know, something like that. Something like bars. But there's ways, there's ways. Actually, you know what? Actually? That's gonna be the next topic for the next episode. What? How to get out of the friend zone. Yes, that's gonna be the next one. But let me correct that. I think that was actually my boy Izzy Nice that quoted that in one of his songs. That's crazy. Shout out to you, Izzy. Shout out to that boy Izzy. Who's Izzy? He's an artist. He's a singer. He's a singer? Yeah. Shout out to that boy Izzy. Check him out. What's his Instagram? Jersey City. Izzy Nice. Izzy Nice. I Z Z Y N Y C E. Izzy Nice. That sounds like an Instagram that I follow. It is an Instagram that you follow because, hello, if you're anybody who's anybody, you gotta check out my boy Izzy. Anyways, <laughs> all right, but you know, usually my episodes end here, but today, Ooh. since I have Red with me, um, and Red's friend, um, no want to have this way. topic. No, no, you know? you're gonna put me on the spot. So I want to have. Oh my God, May, this is your fault. Everybody, I don't, I don't remember her app, but May, I'm coming for you. So May, um, brought up a topic to her, and I thought it was a pretty interesting topic oh to her because you know, not, I, I don't want to say it's difficult for me. I think I understand it, but I think it would be difficult for me to perform it. Right? So, um, can you present oh, this? Oh, I don't know. Why are you really making me... Yeah, let's do it. Come on, girl. Shout out to that girl May, yo. Oh, my Whatever God. her Instagram is, go follow her. <laughs> yeah, follow me. You'll find her. Um, damn. Okay, so, I guess we were talking relationships, guys. So, um, I'm in a new one. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I, I, knew, I knew you were going to slide in here at the end. Team Bagamundo. So my followers are called Team Bagamundos. Oh, right? no, sorry, Team Bagamundo. So they were, they were going to be Bagamundos and I start broke, sending you. I uh, broke the news. You see, like, everybody who wanted to follow me is not going to follow me no more. You'd be surprised. But that's okay. No, no, listen to me. Team Bagamundo does not give a fuck. Oh. Team Bagamundo is about to slide into your DM and be like, listen, girl, I'm going uh, I'm to uh, talk to you, right? Wow. You know what I mean? I'm going uh, to convince you otherwise. So what is the situation that you just... So look, so check it. Like, I told myself that I was going to go into my next situation differently. Okay. And I... Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, And not that it's anybody's business, but you know what? I'm going to be an open book today because maybe somebody out there is thinking about doing something like this. And I'm going to tell you, it's okay, sis. You can... You can... Uh, propose celibacy to your significant other and that's okay and they should be okay with it if they love you or if they want to be with you and that shouldn't jeopardize your relationship so that's what I'm doing we're practicing celibacy and I feel good about it and he's on board all the way so why did you pick why, why did you pick to decide to do celibacy like what brought you to that decision again I feel like Especially during this time, the topic of sex and like the necessity of it is just so overdone at this point. I just feel like, all right, we get it already. A lot of ass on the internet, a lot of, you know, memes, porn and all this stuff. Like, I get it. We get it. We're all like, everybody's a little frustrated right now. But I feel like <clears throat> there's a lack of education out there when it comes to that topic when you can actually use that that tension that energy and transmute it into something that you're driven towards or driven by you know i feel like there's this is a, a kind of like a time out for everyone to really focus on what they value in life and i feel like if i can take that step with someone besides my own moral beliefs um we kind of have no choice but to get to know each other we i feel like this time has it has really put into perspective how important your time actually is for someone with someone i know there's been a lot of disconnect with people and a lot of reconnect with people during this time and i feel like i'm at a point where i'm not wasting my time anymore so if i can't get to know you or connect with you beyond the physical then there's not there's no point here there's no point in wasting my time here and I feel like a lot of people brush things under the rug with the physical. You get into an argument, ah, uh, ah, uh, and then we just kind of like... Have oh, sex. Yeah. Make makeup sex is pretty good, though. No, makeup sex is fine. But a lot of times people use sex to stay in a relationship. Agreed. Actually, I think I spoke that in my last episode. Yeah, so, and I feel like because, you know, they get so blinded by that, that they're not focusing or even addressing the core issue. So it'll never get fixed, and then you're in... A miserable relationship, underlining relationship, and when you're out of that relationship, you realize how much time you wasted. Hmm. So. so now, as someone who 
uh, finds it difficult to uh, jump or make the decision of going into a ce celibacy? Celibate relationship or Celib celibacy, yeah. Celibacy. Um, what would you say are the pros and cons of celibacy? So the pros of it, it are like it, your relationship being about something other than sex. Okay. Um, so that's always fun. Like we get, like we get to know each other. We don't ever run out of things to talk about. Like we're always kind of like building and growing and not and talking about other things because there's so much other things that we could be focused on. And the cons would be like, I guess you really, really, really have to trust your partner in taking that step because, you know, I guess the first thought when I do bring the subject up to people is that okay, I guess the other person is just gonna get it somewhere else until you're ready to. You know, take would you, that step. Would, 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 would that be something like no. wrong? Yeah. For me, I know that there's people that are just not ready to have sex with that person. So for now, you can go get it where you want it. But for me, the whole point of doing it is to do it with someone and to build a relationship, a foundation. Okay. You know, with someone. So now, what about your physical needs? I don't, I don't oppose to you doing what you got to do on that side. I'm not doing that, though. You don't master it? No. Oh, that's a whole other subject. You don't master it? Mm -mm. You need to come back. You need to talk about Oh, this. no! Yes, you need, you need to come back. You need oh, to come back no. and we're going to check this. <laughs> and I'm going to make it my job to convince you to do otherwise after you leave that episode. No, I pray. No, oh, no, guys, please. Yes, listen, guys, if you want Red to come back. Thing, I don't no, do it. Guys, no, 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 fuck that. Guys, if you want Red to come back, I need you to make sure you type <laughs> in the comments, right? No. You, you say Red, you need oh to go back. God. Red, you need I'm to go boring, back. I'm boring, guys. I, I'm really that boring. Like, people don't want to believe me. I'm kind of like a nerd. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. I think I'm a nerd sometimes. Like, I just really, I'm very black and white. I just don't do certain things, and I do do certain things, and I don't judge other people for doing different things. I was cool whenever your girlfriend showed the top of the little first day. And because I could talk about the don't forget, don't forget that this is a little school when it was party. Make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe. Shout out to Red for coming through and spending the time with us today. Um and um uh, Red, um, where can we find you once again? Um my Instagram is what's up red without the A, so it's W S S U P R E D. And um everything else is linked to that, so just follow me there and you'll find the links to like YouTube, Twitter, um, podcast, all that stuff, and you'll be on the and you'll be updated with all the uh, up and coming stuff. Bueno, a los Cuba Negros party porque a los Cuba se hace mejor.